this. All right. It's called A Story of Us, or the unflinchingly and scientifically accurate account of how we actually met one billion years ago. Several billion years ago or more, you began as an inert microscopic particle floating deep in space. Were any creatures aware of your existence? They might have named you something wonderful, but they didn't because as we now know, eyes require complexity too large to see the tiny spark and shine you had. Eyes didn't exist yet in that part of the universe. You had no purpose to be seen. After a long hibernation that included the universe forming before and around you, a very large nearby sun died. One septillion octillions of times larger than you, expelling all of its energy, pushing you, spinning you away, along with newer, smaller particles that spun around you. You, now a wayward atom, with a purpose you didn't ask for, because as we now know, the act of asking requires lips and teeth and things. Shot from deep space nearer the center of the universe, and after an extremely long, quiet, and relatively unencumbered flight, you landed on the Earth's new moon, basking for the next very long ever. Sitting there for some time, perpetually energized by the strong rays of the Earth's further sun. A new sun, warming the even newer planet, terraforming itself quietly at your distance. You waited for nothing and no one. Your particles radiated longer than any particles have any right to do. You waited and the moon took its time, inching closer to an Earth, growing bluer and bluer as millennia slipped by and you waited. Suddenly, I came into being as a gas particle from Earth's sun. That angry star banished sextillions of us for no reason, because as we now know, reason requires brains and love and shoulders. It is possible that I sensed your tiny spark and shine on my 93 million mile flight. That would explain the slightest turn in my trajectory. I landed next to you, and we sat on the lunar surface for so much time that we might have become inseparable. Our bond was inexplicable because as we now know, explanation requires a need to understand. And understanding is sometimes a physical thing that just is. Just when we were settled, a large ball of fiery power blasted closely past us at our quiet home. Its tail as long as 100 of our moons. Its anger dragged us with it, and we flew right for the blue ball in front of us. Just before we collided with it, the fiery ball was consumed by molecules we'd never met before, bigger than us but friendly. They called themselves oxygen. They welcomed us as they ate the fire rock. They told us to settle in the coolness of what they called water. We landed in the big water and floated for some time. We enjoyed it when the oxygen would carry the water up high and then splash it back down on us. They were and still are cousins, and they get along so well. We were one since before we left the moon, and we enjoyed this more interesting place together. Millions of years went by, and the weather changed billions of times. The oxygen took care of us, and the water helped us navigate. Creatures got smaller, and we honored them by adhering to other parts of them for their entire lives. We lived in the eye of a large beast. We were the most important part of thousands of insects. We were the least important parts of dinosaurs. We were the messengers for ten different hair follicles. We were the tiniest part of a bird's heart. We could feel it soaring from within. It always made you laugh. That was our favorite job. than an angry sun, and everything
everything around us was split apart, including you and I. I don't know where you went, but I returned to the water and searched for you best I could at my size. Decades went by, and I was drank by a two-footed master. The same must have happened to you. I became part of a human egg, you part of a human sperm. We grew to become two different bipedal mammals. I now live in this man's voice box. You live in your woman's heart. Mine loved art and the universe as did yours because we were in them and part of it in such a simple way. Because as we now know, the universe isn't just out there. It's also in here. My body traveled north to speak about all